So this brings me to the second lie about the Holy Spirit, which is that he convicts us of our sins. You know, I think that most people think that's the primary ministry of the Holy Spirit. I grew up thinking that. I thought he was kind of like the great sin police waiting for me to break the law, then punishing me into submission so that I might not do it again. That kind of uh, skewed view of the Spirit is a really good way to want to have nothing to do with him, I think. And it might be how some in the church have come to describe the Spirit today, but it's not how the apostles understood him or taught him. They knew the Spirit as Jesus described him on at least two occasions. The first occasion had to do with how the Spirit relates to unbelievers. Look at John chapter 16, verse 8. And he said, when he comes, he will convict the world of its sin and of God's righteousness and of the coming judgment. Now, some people will hear that, and they might say, see, he convicts people of sin. But note that Jesus said sin, not sins. That's important. But it's also important not to stop right there, because Jesus says what the sin is. In verse 9, he says, the world's sin is that it refuses to believe in me. You see, unbelief is what the Holy Spirit convicts unbelievers about. He doesn't approach them saying, I see you're smoking a cigarette. You better stop that or you'll be smoking forever. He doesn't say, lay off the booze or you're going to burn. No, he shows them Jesus and what he did. He, in some way, demonstrates God's goodness. He says, let me change your mind about God. Maybe religion and the world have painted one picture, but this is who he is. And I'm telling you, you get that? You understand God's goodness and God's love and what Jesus did to die for your sins? You get that, and the other stuff works itself out in time. That's what the Spirit's concerned with. Showing you Jesus. And this is partly why Jesus called him the Advocate. Not because he advocates for perfection, but the word advocate is the Greek word parakletos, which is a word that basically meant defense attorney in their day. The Holy Spirit's on your side. And for Christians, he's on your side to show your innocence, not to prove your failures. And this is, as I said, important to remember when it comes to the Spirit's role for Christians in our lives, most of us who are watching here or listening. And so this brings me to the second occasion when Jesus described the Spirit. Turn to John 14, verse 26. But when the Father sends the Advocate as my representative, that is the Holy Spirit, he will teach you everything and will remind you of everything I have told you. Here again he uses Advocate. And as Jesus' representative, he does it like Jesus did. Jesus always defended strugglers and his followers in a loving way. And he always reminded them the truth of the Father, that he is good, merciful, full of unfailing love. I teach more about all of that in a message I've titled, The Real Role of the Holy Spirit. But it's the accuser who reminds people of sin, not the advocate. Don't mix up the roles of the devil versus the Holy Spirit. Don't do that. The accuser tells you of sin. The advocate tells you of righteousness. Like I said, an advocate doesn't bring up your failures. But secondly, he doesn't have to. Because Jesus died to forgive sin once and for all. He died so that our sins aren't held against us. So there's no reason to bring it up. But third, the power of the Christian life, the power to be a witness comes from the joy of what salvation did. That's what's going to motivate you. It doesn't come, for sure, from any burden that salvation requires. So you need to know the Holy Spirit will never say, stop this or else. What he will say is, it is finished. God loves you. You are complete. You are forgiven. He'll remind you about the wonderful things that God has done so that you naturally want to tell others. He'll empower you with his goodness. 
And his goodness is the only kind of message with any power to help an unbeliever believe anyway. You can't scare people into salvation. They got to know the good God that they're coming into relationship with. The Holy Spirit is God's greatest promise, yet the Spirit has been shrouded in mystery for years and His power and purpose have been misunderstood. Not anymore. With my teaching series, The Advocate, you'll discover everything that the Holy Spirit has to offer. This four-part series includes the following messages. Five lies about the Holy Spirit, the real role of the Holy Spirit, the key to intimacy, and God's gifts of grace. Ready to experience the full power and purpose of the Holy Spirit in your life? Get the Advocate series on four MP3s today at kylewinkler.org advocate.